again with the vlog, but this time we're on the camera. Turn around, say hello. Hello. <laughs> oh, living that van life and all that, you know. Today we are in the van starting off, not far away from Australia Zoo. Ooh. Um, I'm not gopro in it today, so I haven't got the little thing to walk around with. We'll walk around with a big camera because we're not filming for anything else, so I thought, do you know what? Why not? Um, let's get the uh, get the big camera on the go, and we can make everything look pretty. Okay, she doesn't want to play today. You're not Don't playing. Want to play, no. You're not playing. No. So right here we've got uh, our towels <laughs> hanging up off this like little line you can't see. Cool, and um, that's where we've just used for dishing up. That's what we've used for dishing up, and then that's our sink. As you can see, the campground is quite wet. So when you step foot outside here, you get soggy feet. It's all good though because we're hooked up to this box, so we've had some power going into there, so we've charred all of our stuff. And early this morning, we had some kookaburras out on here laughing. Like, they were right noisy things, like, wouldn't shut up. I don't know, what's going on with my hair? They wouldn't shut up at five o'clock this morning. I mean, it's nice, because it's kookaburras, it's a really nice sound. But, um, yeah, five o'clock in the morning, you can give that a rest, innit? Just want to let you know, this is $20 per night for a powered hookup. I don't know what that's like in the UK, that's like, what, 12 quid? 12 quid to 11 quid 12 quid is that cheap in the uk don't know never done it so i couldn't tell you like if that's good or not but 20 dollars toilets hot showers hook up yeah it's all good anyway should we go off to the zoo to the zoo <laughs> raining again it's raining again the worst here sunshine coast my left nut right we're at australia zoo we're in the car park which is probably the world's biggest car park honestly it's absolutely colossal and it's full, so it's going to be nice and busy inside today. <laughs> um, but it should be good for the show. Big audience in the show. See all the crocodiles jumping up and that. Um, we're walking off to the front gate again, about a mile away, so we've had to park at the back. Right, so we're in, and we just tried to watch a, a parrot show um, with two people, uh, a male and a female. And uh, no, <laughs> it was not good. It's just Mr. Attitude from the get go. I don't understand what it's, it's like he had a problem with everyone that was stood there. Like, well, what's, what's... <laughs> yeah, it's uh, it a bit strange that. We actually left. Yeah. Because he was just, he was just having, having a pop at people, weren't he, for no reason? Yeah. Like, you're not answering me because you're not listening. It was weird. It was weird. Rubbo, and if you're watching, see into that or something. I don't know, like, it was weird. Anyway, there's a big chunky crocodile in there, look. Wow, size of it. Cool, then. She's in there with a the tiger. Mad. That is mad. It's like a worldwide animal anomaly. Some elephants, some people in there. This got to be one of the only zoos I've ever seen that like people just actively get in with the animals. So like people in with the elephants and there's people in with the tigers. Very dangerous animals and they're just like, yeah, whatever. Now like, look at this. They're all just like uh, chilling with these elephants. These people here. Yeah. Just with the elephants, like yeah, come on in. Off we go. I don't think I mentioned it, but that there is a Sumatran elephant. So that's really cool. Another one over here, look. Get the leaves. Look at it, cute. We've got ourselves some zebras and some giraffes. So there's one thing about this zoo, right, is uh, the area in which the animals have is massive. Like this zoo is colossal and walking around it is a, is, is physical exercise. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's a really, really big location for all these animals to be in. It's almost like a safari park, like the size of it, but it's not, you know? It's a walking place. And yeah, it's really cool to see though, how all these animals get all this freedom and space. It's just nice to be able to see this because over on that direction, there's some rhinos as well. Everything, just chilling together in one big enclosure. I feel like there's a bin chicken trying to get in on the action next to these rhinos. Star of the show, mate. A little cheeky meerkat. The place is heaving, there's so many people. It's like bouncy castles and that over there. Or like a, I don't know, some cafe or something here. Mate, there are so many people. So so busy today i've got a feeling one of these giraffes here i remember seeing something about it is one of the is is the largest giraffe on the planet or the tallest giraffe and i think just looking at it 
it's that one there because he's massive but he looks like abnormally large something you look at and think no hang on a second like giraffes are big but you're you're very big you're very 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 big it makes the other one bigger like the other one looks smaller like he's like this one here he's big right he's big but that thing that thing is colossal cheers rob will do right weather's changing again it went sunny and now it's not uh it's about to it's about to book it down i reckon that's great once again the sunshine coast has done us a solid by absolutely chucking it down so that's good it's good it's exactly why we came to the sunshine coast you know for the rain Oh, it's, uh, it's really raining now. Bindi's Island. Tell you what, uh, it's good marks for the the beautifulness of it. With some uh, ringtail lemurs. Sun's back out and it's baking hot again. Um, so we're on Bindi's Island, right? And this island's home to the lemurs. And the lemurs feed off the island. How cool is that? Um, they do get like supplementary food as well, but mostly they feed off all of this stuff it's really cool nice little environment i like it we've got a red panda so cute goodbye it's a sulfur crested cockatoo one there uh, there's another one in the back of that cage but he's cute isn't he little uh, emu look at his fuzzy head straight out of jurassic park Cool. Uh, you can't really see it, but that thing at the back is a brolga. It's a massive bird, but in its enclosure, you've got some bush turkeys. That's not what we're here. We want to see that. We want to see that, but he's not, he's not going to poke his head out, annoyingly. All right, it's time for the croc show in the Crocosseum. This is like the headline act of this place. Look at this. 6,000 seat stadium inside of a zoo. How mad is that? Oh mate, it's absolutely massive. Like, this is bigger than some football stadiums. Um, not in like general size of like what's there, but just the seats. It's really weird. There's a Steve Irwin like stuff going on on the big screen. And we're due to have this uh, crocodile show happen ASAP. No way. Stay at least four or five metres back from the water's edge. And of course, 
that guy's swimming from territory, and you'll never ever have a problem. So what you see me right now is they're trying to get this crocodile back into his uh, enclosure. Look, little boys, Robert and Chandler, getting Murray the croc back into his uh, his space. He's doing it ever so slowly. Go on, son. <laughs> That's so cool to see that. <laughs> that was so cool to see. Like, I really enjoyed that. The whole show was wicked, and uh, Robert Irwin just popped out. Steve's legacy on the walls. We do give lactose free where possible and of course as I said it is a very small amount. So then that's when this breeding and this calling out process will happen for when they're able to breed as well. But she already towers over Shane so she's going to get a little bit taller as well. Amazing and only using just those claws to pull their whole body weight up to the very top of the tree. Let's see how she goes. <laughs> Big round of applause guys. That's impressive. That'd be like us just using our fingertips to try and climb to the top of that tree there. Now getting down is a little bit more tricky. Sometimes tigers actually like to back down the tree a little bit before they'll turn around and make a jump. Some of our athletic cats like to turn around and run and jump down the tree, as Sally just showed you there. Jesus Christ. That's a Komodo dragon. Look at the size of it. Oh, that is massive. Oh, if you lay down next to that, it'd be bigger than you. <laughs> That's mad, isn't it? Jesus. Just some Asian small claw rushes. Oh, <laughs> Little Tazzy Devil. Gotta oh, love it. <laughs> I think they're really cute. Look at him. Aww. What a cutie. Got the American alligators. I mean, it's not, it's not like a salt water. But to be fair, it would still do some damage. And of course, I'll chin it. And some dingoes. One there. One there. Can't see any others. But they're cute. Alright, say it with me. Casso wary. Casso scary. <laughs> what? Wow, that's a noise. Oh my god. That sounds like a dinosaur. Oh my, that's just, The vibrations on that. Why is it making that noise? <sighs> does that like go away or is it like creamy? Oh, I don't know, but that was sick. Do it again. Do it again. Oh, murder bird. Casso, scary. Sick. I'm not looking for that in the wild. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we are. Interrong. Oh, a wombat. <laughs> cute. Oh, look at him. <laughs> I love them. They're cute, aren't they? Yeah. Where's he there from? He's cool looking. So this is a glossy bin chicken. Uh, also known as glossy ibis. You actually get these in the UK from time to time. They sort of fly in, say hello. Look at them having a little dig. Something so sick about seeing a wedge-tailed eagle, like, I still think, they're just, they're just wicked, aren't they? Such a cool animal to see. But yeah, I think we're done. We've gone around the park and it's sick. Like, Australia Zoo is what you'd expect it to be, right? It's a proper, proper wicked place. Heavy focus on the crocodiles and alligators and all, all those sort of reptiles and stuff. Uh, that's what Steve Irwin loved. Uh, Robert Irwin loves them too, <laughs> as you can see from the show. But um, yeah, wicked, like, enjoyed every single minute of it. What a great place. Only one thing that let it down, but we won't dwell on that. Um, I think that's it though. Anyway, thank you for watching. More vlogs coming soon. Alright, see you later. <laughs>